are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to do an update on Mary Lou Retton. Of course, everybody's all American hero. If you're my age, I can remember vividly the 1984 Olympics. I mean, Mary Lou Retton captured the hearts, minds, hearts of all Americans at the time, back when people were very patriotic. She won a gold medal. She won a, two silver medals and two bronze medals in that Olympics in 84. And she was arguably the most popular athlete in the country during that point. I think everybody, if you're my age, remembers the Weedy Box that had Mary Lou Retton on it. And, guys, in case you have not been paying attention, Mary Lou Retton has been fighting for her life. She got a very rare form of pneumonia. We'll get to the controversial part of that. Uh, leftists out there have been taking major swipes at Mary Lou Retton over the past several days, a lot of them accusing her of having COVID. I have not seen that. That has not been confirmed. They were doing victory laps because they thought she was unvaccinated. I don't think anybody knows her vaccination status. And it's pretty crappy of people to in this particular situation. And they did this with the great Herman Cain to be trying to take victory laps when they think somebody that might not be unvaccinated is dying of pneumonia. Or we thought she might have been dying of a pneumonia. That's where the it was seeming to be going However, we've got a really positive update on Mary Lou Retton from her daughter. And this is good news, and this is by way of Fox News. She's only 55 years old, folks. Mary Lou Retton, who captured the attention of the nation when she won the all-around women's gymnastic competition at the 1984 Summer Olympics, has been, quote, fighting for her life in the hospital, according to her daughter, However, McKenna Kelly, Retton's, Retton's daughter, offered an encouraging update on Saturday saying her mother's health is improving. Mom's progress is truly remarkable. Prayer, prayers have been felt and are being answered. Kelly wrote in an Instagram post along with praying hands emojis. Although she remains in ICU, her path to recovery is steadily progressing. Her fighting spirit is truly shining. On Tuesday, Kelly revealed that her mom had been in ICU for over a week with a very rare form of pneumonia. Since then, financial support has poured in as Retton continues to fight. That's been another thing that's been controversial this last week. Uh... People have really been bashing the situation when nobody really knows what is the situation of Mary Lou Retton. She just said she did not have any health insurance. As of Saturday morning, a fundraiser page for the legendary Olympia had received more than 419,000 donations. The crowdfunding campaign to help Retton's uh, medical bills initially had a goal of $50,000. The Spot Fund page also noted that Redden does not have health insurance. Quote, get well, Mary Lou, you are America's sweetheart, and we are all rooting for you. One donor wrote on the fundraising page, Redden is receiving treatment at a Texas hospital, according to the AP. And there she is right there. I mean, so many of these iconic images of Mary Lou Retton. Kelly also mentioned that Retton is becoming less dependent on machines. Guys, that's a big deal. If she if she's able to come off, if they it, she was not able to breathe on her own. That was that was a tidbit earlier in the week. Uh, that she could not and was not breathing on her own without assistance from a machine. That is never a great sign, folks. It's not. Quote, her breathing is becoming stronger and her reliance on machines is diminishing. Though it's a lengthy journey, wit witnessing these improvements is incredibly heartening. She's beginning to respond to treatments. Kelly noted on Saturday in a social media post, Retton's win at the 1984 Olympic Games in L.A. 
marked the first time an American woman won the all-around gold medal or any individual Olympic medal in, the, in gymnastics. That's, that's amazing, considering how good we have been in gym, gymnastics over the years since. Um, she appeared in several films and televisions in the night, show, television shows in the 1980s and 90s and was inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame in 1997. After she retired from gymnastics, Retton became a motivational speaker and frequently shared messages about the benefits of proper nutrition and exercise. She also served on the President's Council for Fitness and Sports under former President George W. Bush. So, um, that's, a, that's a promising update we like to hear it. Um, I think it's been pretty disgusting, some of the things that have been said out there. I mean, Twitter, which is now X, has been just a dumpster fire on Mary Lou Retton and some of the heinous things that some of these people have said about her. And, of course, there's the no insurance thing. Leftists are somehow finding that to be some kind of a victory lap. Uh, people thought she lived in Texas, and then people came out and said, no, she's actually living in West Virginia. And people were talking about her money and how it was that she didn't have health insurance. But some people were saying, well, she actually had a divorce in there somewhere, and that probably fi uh, financially affected her quite a bit. But the point is, and, and this is what I don't understand, why are we doing victory laps on people that are fighting for their lives? That, that's, that's where we've gotten, folks. It's ridiculous. This, this, you want to talk about sports heroes, legends in their time? I mean, she was a pop culture phenomenon. She crossed over from sports in the entertainment, and she was just an everyday figure. If you grew up in the 80s, Mary Lou Retton was everywhere. I mean, it was, it was the way, this was actually before Michael Jordan exploded, and she had that kind of popularity back in the 80s that, that, that Michael Jordan would, would come, become so, you know, commonplace with Jordan. Mary Lou Redden was one of those people. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure a lot of people realize her significance in the lexicon of sports history. Mary, I mean, she's a legend, truly. Anyway, we're praying for a quick recovery. We hope she fully bounces out of this. 55 years old is much too young. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.